What's up everybody? I'm your astrology guy. Let's get into some information about Virgos. In later videos, I'll give you some information about being in a relationship with a Virgo, compatibility with a Virgo, how to attract a Virgo. But for right now, I want to empower Virgos to be the best version they can possibly be by focusing on their positive traits and diminishing their negative traits. Okay, Virgo. the sixth sign of the zodiac. The dates of Virgo are August 23rd to September 22nd. Virgo takes place at the time of year where we are transitioning from summer into fall. So signs that happen during the transition of a season are the mutable signs. The mutable signs are great at blending the process of initiating and finishing. They execute that blend through communication and networking. Virgo is an earth sign and we know earth signs experience the world through a material lens. Virgo is the teenager of the earth signs. Teenager signs are independent, adventurous, and excited by intellectual growth. They also have a hard time with criticism and can be rebellious. Side note about Virgo, if you have a Virgo working on your team, they will work as hard as they can to do the best job that they can and they will see it through to the end. However, if you're working on something and you don't want the Virgo involved, then watch out because any Virgo in any vicinity of anything going on is going to have an opinion and they're going to want their opinion to be heard and they're going to think their opinion is right. Virgos, have you heard of Don't Ask, Don't Tell? Well, how about Don't Tell If Nobody Asked? See, if I wanted your opinion, I would have asked you for it. Remember, your way is our way, not the way, okay? Virgo's positive traits, analytical, observant, helpful, reliable, and precise. Virgo's negative traits, skeptical, fussy, inflexible, cold, and interfering. Okay, Virgos, you have a strength of finding what's wrong with something, and that could be an extremely powerful tool when it comes to perfecting something. However, when it comes to dealing with yourself and your personal life, understand focusing on what you don't want is going to bring more of that. So focus on what you do want. Don't spend your time talking about all the things that you don't like. Talk about the things and fill your thoughts with the things that you do like, that you do want, and that will be what starts to show up in your life. Also remember, nothing is perfect. Nothing is perfect. <laughs> Everything has flaws. Everything. So you want to make sure that you don't focus on the flaws unless that's your job. Like if you're doing a job where you're editing or something like that, then yes, it's great. Focus on the flaws, fix them. But when it comes to your personal development and your personal life, make sure that you focus on what you want as opposed to what you don't want. If you find yourself in a debate with a Virgo, which you definitely will, if you know any Virgos, you will find yourself in a debate with a Virgo. Just agree to disagree, you'll save yourself a lot of time. There's never a Virgo that's gonna go, oh my God, you're so right, I'm totally wrong. It's not gonna happen. They feel like they come to their conclusion based on experience and facts. And with that as their backup, it's a very, very hard way to go getting them to let go of that. So just agree to disagree, you'll have a much better interaction with the Virgo. So that's Virgos, analytical, persistent, hardworking, extremely, extremely dependable, also critical, kind of self-undoing sometimes, but overall a very, very good sign to have on your side. If you want more information about Virgos regarding relationships and compatibility, that's coming up in later videos along with astrological information about the other signs of the zodiac. Thanks for watching.